video we are going to solve this electrical network using mesh analysis to find the voltage VAB and the current I0 in the circuit. So this is problem number 3.43 from Fundamentals of Electric Circuits by Alexander and Sadikov's 5th edition. Okay, let's get started. So if you analyze this particular circuit, here we have two voltage sources and three loops can be formed here and the loop currents are mentioned as I1, I2, I3 by S and the voltage across this 30 ohm resistance that is VAB is to be determined and the current I0 which is flowing through this 30 ohm resistor is to be found out. Okay, so we are going to use mesh analysis for this. So we start with the first loop. Here we apply KVL Kitchoff's voltage law. When you apply KVL for this particular loop in which the current I1 is flowing so it starts flowing from here so it is minus 80 then this is flowing through this particular path so we assume this to be plus to minus with the current I1 through this 20 ohm resistance so we take this as plus 20 I1 and the same current is flowing through this 30 ohm resistance in this direction where we take this as plus and this as minus so it is plus 30 I1 at the same time if you look into this I2 current that I2 current is flowing in this direction in the opposite direction okay so it is from this minus to plus isn't it the I2 current is flowing through this 30 ohm resistance and it takes the minus sign while entering okay so that is minus 30 I2 then when you come over to this so the same current is entering we take this as plus to minus so it is plus 20 plus 20 I1 at the same time this I3 current is also flowing through this 20 ohm resistance but it is flowing from this negative to this positive so we mark this as minus 20 I3 then it ends okay so that is equal to 0 so it can be written as when you sum up this I1 currents together it is 70 70 I1 minus 30 I2 minus 20 I3 that is equal to 80 so if you divide this equation by 10 then it can be written as 7 I1 minus 3 I2 minus 2 I3 that is equal to 8 this is our first equation now we go for loop 2 for loop 2 we are going to apply KVL this is our loop 2 already we have assigned this current direction so here if we assume that the current starts from here it flows through this and for this we take the reference as this is plus to minus when the current I2 is flowing but at the same time the current I1 is flowing in the reverse direction so this I2 current is entering through this plus terminal of this 30 ohm resistor but at the same time this I1 current is entering through this minus terminal for this 30 ohm resistor okay so we can write this as plus 30 I2 minus 30 I1 then when the current I2 current is flowing through this 30 ohm resistance here also it is plus 2 minus so this is plus 30 I2 and then the same current is flowing through this 30 ohm resistor here again it is plus 2 minus okay so it is plus 30 I2 at the same time this current I3 is flowing in the opposite direction here okay that means it is entering in the negative terminal so it can be mentioned here as minus 30 I3 that is equal to 0 so it is 90 
I2 minus 30 I1 minus 30 I3 that is equal to 0. So if you divide this by 30 then we get this as 3 I2 minus I1 minus I3 equal to 0. So we can rearrange it. So it is minus I1 plus 3 I2 minus I3 that is equal to 0. So this is our second equation. So now we go for the third loop, loop 3. So in which we are again applying the KVL, which the current is flowing starting from here. We assume that the current starts flowing from here in this path. Okay, like this and it ends here. So in this, we can write it as, it is minus 80 voltage source. Then you can sum up all these resistance values, right? So 20 plus 30 plus 20. So it is plus 70 I3 current is flowing, right? In this. So it is 70 I3. Then when you take this 20, it belongs to this I1 current also. I1 current is also flowing through this 20 ohm resistance. So you have to mark this as minus 20 I1. And when you consider this 30 ohm resistance, here the I2 current is flowing through that. So it can be marked here as minus 30 I2 that is equal to 0. So it is minus 20 I1 minus 30 I2 plus 70 I3 that is equal to 80. So when you divide it by 10, we get this as minus 2 I1 minus 3 I2 plus 7 I3 that is equal to 8. So this is equation number 3. So we can summarize all these three equations together so that we can write it as. So we can solve this by writing this in matrix format. It is 7 minus 3 minus 2. Here it is minus 1, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 7. So here it is I1, I2 and then I3. That is equal to, it is 8, 0, 8 which represents the voltage. Now we can calculate this delta which is the determinant value of this. This is equal to 7 into, when you multiply this, it is 21 minus this 3. Then this one minus of minus 3, so this becomes 3. So then we have this minus 1 into 7, so it is minus 7. Then here it is 2, 1 into 2, 2, but minus sign will be there, minus 2. Then here it is plus but here we have this minus sign so that it is minus 2 as such minus 2 multiplied by for this it is minus 1 into minus 3 it is 3 minus this 2 into 3 is 6 minus 6 minus of minus plus 6 so we got this is 7 into 18 plus 3 into minus 9 minus 2 into 9. So 18 times 7 that is equal to 126 minus 27 minus 18. So this del value is equal to 81. Now we have to find out del 1. So how to find out del 1? So for that we have to change this first column alone using this voltage matrix 808. So now we can calculate this. So del1 is equal to this 8 into this 21 minus this 3. So minus of minus 3 is plus 3 into. So here it is 0 into 7 is 0. 
then minus minus 8 so it becomes plus 8 then minus this 2 minus 2 because it is plus into minus 2 okay multiplied by the 0 into minus 3 0 then minus this 24 so this del 1 is equal to 8 into 18 plus 24 plus 48 that is equal to 144 plus 24 plus 48. So this del 1 is equal to 216. So now we can calculate this I1. I1 is equal to del 1 divided by del. So this is equal to 216 divided by 81 which is del value. Which is the value of del. So this is equal to 2.667. So we have calculated this I1. I1 is equal to 2.667 amps. So this is one answer we got. So now we are going for calculating this del 2 value which is equal to by replacing this second column with 808. So the determined val determinant value can be calculated here for this del 2. It is 7 this 7 into 0 this one minus of minus 8 here so plus 8 then minus this 8 then here we have this minus 7 for this then here already plus 2 but it is minus okay minus of plus 2 so it is minus 2 then here we have this minus 2 multiplied by this minus 1 into 8 so it is minus 8 then here we have 0, 0 multiplied by anything 0, so we need that one. So this is equal to 56 minus 8 into minus 9 minus of minus plus 16. So this is equal to 56 plus 72 plus 16. So this value is equal to 144. So we can calculate IT as del 2 divided by del. So this is equal to 144 divided by 81. So this is equal to 1.778. So I2 value is equal to 1.778 amps. This is the second answer we got okay so this is determinant in this we want to find out this del 3 so that we want we can replace this third column with the voltage attack so it is eight zero eight so this is equal to this seven into we, we are going to find the determinant of this Right, so it is 7 into this 3 into 8 that is 24 minus the 0. So, okay, then minus of minus 3 here, so that is plus 3 into here it is minus 1 into 8. So, it is minus 8 minus 0, we leave it then plus 8 into plus this 8 into minus 1 into minus 3 that is 3 then this minus so minus 2 into 3 that means it is plus 6 so that is equal to 7 into 24 is 168 then this is minus minus 24 plus 8 into 9 so it is 72 del 3 is equal to 216 so what is i3 now i3 is equal to del 3 divided by del that is equal to 216 divided by 81 
so that i3 is equal to 2.66 amps so if you check this circuit here we have the sign not it which is to be determined and this vab is to be determined right i not and i2 are the same okay so this i2 and i not are one and the same okay so this i not current is nothing but 1.778 amperes so how to find out this vab vab is equal to that current i not multiplied by this resistance of 30 ohms so that is equal to 1.778 multiplied by 30 so that is equal to 53.34 so vab is equal to 53.34 so we have got the answer for this I naught as well as for this VAB. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Hope you have understood.